get done in the morning, do the 30 minutes, done and dusted for the day. And eat, come back, train. Same old thing. I don't wake up for a good hour, I need my monster drink every morning. Get my caffeine dose, I don't like coffee. That's what I do every day. I get a good car. Bird shit on the top of my car. Someone's done me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was like one of those nutters filming myself. I'm fucking doing. Even with a broken leg, where well, it's not broken now, I can't really complain. But some days it gives me jip, some days it don't. I still come and do cardio no matter what. Every morning, I don't really wake up until I've done the cardio, but it's done, so I'm happy. Um, gonna go home now, eat, it's a normal routine, it's what I do every day. Get up, do my cardio, <coughs> um, get back, make my meals, do some work. So, if you keep that kind of routine and do it for yourself at home, it kind of wakes you up, gets you ready for the day. There's health benefits to it, obviously, your fitness, your mindset, you're ready for the day. Um, it, it's kind of a ritual and it makes you feel a lot better. If you're just getting up, feeling groggy, eating breakfast straight away, the body hasn't time to woken up, the, you know, your digestive system hasn't woken up. So it's never the best thing just to, you know, um, get up and eat. I can never do that. Even if I, if I don't do cardio, I'll get up and I'll sit for an hour. I literally can't just get up and eat. Um, so... Yeah, just showing a bit of what I do every day. I'm gonna be back in a few hours, gonna go home now, have breakfast, do a bit of work on my laptop, reply to a few clients, get back to the gym, eat a, eat a big meal, get some good carbs in on that breakfast meal, come back. I think we, what are we doing to the George? Shoulders or arms? A bit of what arms? Do you a bit of arms? Yeah, a bit of arms today, that's what I'm gonna do. I always swap the arm or the shoulder day around, doesn't matter. So today, because my brother's here, Mr. Cameraman for the day. <laughs> so we're gonna um, film something, what I do, just my general routine, so you can see what I do. You know, some of you may wanna know, some of you don't, but this is what we do 2022, innit? This is, this is what you have to do. <laughs> so. Let's go. Let's go. Bit of day in the life. So we're back in the gym, obviously doing cardio this morning, coming back. Um, we've eaten. I didn't want to show eating because what's the point? You know what it's like. So, we're going to start on this machine today. This can be done like um, dumbbells, you know, um, on a bench, 45. But if you've got a machine that does this, might as well use it. This is a warm up. Lice and light. Get the blood in there. Nice and light. It's good. Get it warm, warm and bubbly.
Beautiful. So going on the first exercise, get enough reps in, get the blood in there. It's a bit heavier now, this is more like it. This is the first working set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Burning now. Fucking hell. Getting the blood in there now. Whew. Big weights, come on. Easy 15. 12, sorry, I done 12. Squeeze. Right, yeah, so last working set now. First exercise. Maxing it out, maxing it out. Let's go. Easy work, come on. Yep. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. I. Oops. Ah. Oh. Hey. Come on. Nine. Uh, ten. Oh, burning. Gets a lot of blood in there. Even though this time of, I'm off all PEDs. Missed the natural right now. But I'm still living heavy. Still maintaining weight. Still eating food. Might look a little bit softer than usual. But I'm gonna start getting things back in place in the next three weeks. Jump back on, start prepping for my growth phase, getting ready for the shows this year. And hopefully by April, May, April, end of April, I can start prep. Because really I want to do a show in July. But just depending on how my leg feels, how my legs are, if my leg size is back. Because I lost a lot of size due to um, breaking it. But they are coming back. They're weighing like 29 and a half inch. Get back up to about 30 inch, 31 inch. It's all good. Let's go. Good, come on. So, just on that exercise, I'm gonna do some single arm because with biceps and triceps, I like to do all biceps at the beginning, go through, go through at least three, maybe four, depending on how I feel on that day and then go to do four or five exercises for triceps. I just like to hammer it in one day. I don't do all that um, twice a week arms. For me, they start to shrink. And sometimes if you overdo arms, the thing is with arms, they're a small muscle group. So depending genetically, everybody's a little bit different. For me, if I overdo arms, they start to shrink. So hence why I've done that two day a week doing arms, you know, split of a, uh, um, on the end of chest and then at the end of shoulders I used to do triceps but what I found is it responded for a few weeks but after about three four weeks four weeks they just felt like they were shrinking not shrinking but they were being overworked because you use them a lot whenever you're doing anything so one day a week for me suits me down to the ground and um, so now I'm going to do single arm this is more of the heavier stuff now Aye. Heavier than I thought. Every, every machine in every gym is a little bit different, so I don't really do arms in this gym a lot, but 20 kg on this arm feels a lot heavier than other gyms. So, depending if you go to different gyms, don't always do, you know, if you do 10 kg in one gym or one machine, don't think you do the same 10 kg on another machine because they're different lengths. The, uh, the arm's going to be longer, the machine's going to be different. So, it doesn't always work the same. That felt hard, <laughs> but we're in it to win it now. Yep.
Get the blood in there, that one. Two, come on. Pretty heavy now. I think we started a little bit too heavy, but whatever. In it to win it. In it to win it. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh. do it man I think we should have started with a 15 but whatever it's done natural gains you know what I mean natural mr. natural right now so got to do what you got to do huh yeah come on Do next one because I can't go much heavier than that. I only got seven reps, it'd be pointless. I'm gonna do double arm, I'm gonna do a cluster set to finish because to intensify it, I try to intensify each last set on certain things. Sometimes I might just go in weight, but as this is quite heavy, I'll probably do cluster set, which is 10, 10 second break, 10, 10 second break, 10. Probably double arm. Um, going heavier, it's not gonna make there's no point to it. All I'm going to do is end up hurting my joints. You know, the lowest I'll go is six on a bad day. Kind of eight to 20 reps is my range. Got seven. Yes, I'm not going to go heavier. Pointless. So we're going to do intensifier now. Obviously, my brother's going to do it now. Go. Children's turn. Let's go. Big seven. Come on. One. Yes. Two, come on. Oh, like I said, cluster set now. Annihilate the muscle. Double arm, let's go. Yep. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, ten. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, nine, ten. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five. Get blood. Six, seven, eight. Ten. Let's go, come on. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Finish. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Eight. <laughs> ten, ten, eight. Better than nothing. Wasn't my best, but whatever. We keep rolling. <laughs> come on, your turn now. Jordan's turn. Let's go. Six, come on. Seven, one more, one more. Eight, yes. Woo, see, he's keeping up with me. Natural gains. <laughs> Natural. No. A killer. <sighs> we'll get your minos in, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, so now I'm gonna do like a dead stop. I don't know what, what the hell their name is, you wanna call it, but. Single arm, like this. It allows the muscle to be worked completely from start to finish. There's no cheating, there's no swinging, there's no nothing. This is a hard movement. Um, but we're here to make things hard. It's not meant to be easy, you know? You're not gonna grow no muscle if it's too easy. You're, gonna get, you're not gonna grow nothing. So. Keep the arms straight. Uh, oh. 
Harder than it looks. <sighs> Burns. Yep. Come on, let's go. Here to work. Uh, oh. Hey. Hey. got the blood in there, I'll tell you that. That's what we're here to do. Work. Time to work. Keep the arms straight, yeah. That's it, good. Squeeze, good. Good. Good squeeze. All right, next set. Oy. It's fine, it's fine. Here we go. Signs will work. Come on. to work man. Let's go. Good. Easy work, come on. Easy work. Heavier. Not much, but I know I'll get eight out of this anyway, so always eight to twenty depending. Obviously the working sets, eight to 12. It all depends on how you feel, how strong you are. Let's go. Six. Let's go. Easy work. Come on now. Yep. Oh. Uh. Ready. Uh. Five. Six. Seven. Oh. Eight. Oh shit. It's not easy, mate. It's not easy. It's not easy. <sighs> Triceps now. Tricep time. I'm gonna start with a rope. I like to start with a rope because it does all heads. So it does outer head, inner head, and the elongated head. It's a good start to do.
We're gonna go up, we're gonna go up and do a drop sit on this one. So build up and then do a drop sit on the last set. Oh, 25 reps. Beautiful. Good 25. Squeeze. Keep your elbows in a bit. Let's go. Woo yep. oh. Two. Feel that now. Blood's getting in there now. That's what you want to do. You want to feel that pump. It's not just about heavy, 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 heavy weight. You've got to allow the blood, allow expansion, allow the joints to get ready. The weight will go up, but we've got to expand that muscle, hitting all the different fibers, all the different rep ranges, all the different layers to the muscle. Just doing heavy is not going to get the same development. Elbows in, yeah, good. And twist at the end, yeah. Good, good. That's better, you can see it working more now. All the way down. You gotta allow that blood. Yeah? <laughs> he knows that hurt. That fucking hurt, I know it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Let's make it hard. Let's make it hard now. Oh, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep, yep. Oh. 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 That was hard. It don't look like much, but it's heavy. It is heavy. This machine feels heavy on this one. Just make it. It feels heavy, yeah. Let's go. Big weight, remember. Stretch and down, contract, yes. All the way up, all the way up. Yes. Look at the reps. Good. Let's go, yes. He failed. How many was that? Nine. Nine. There you go. It's okay. It's still heavy. Still hard. Drop set, man. Drop set Mr. Natural. Natural gains. Physically, I am natural at the minute, but I have to ramp up the training soon. This is like first gear. I'm not in second gear yet, you know what I mean? You know? Right. Let's go. Drop set now. Motherfucker, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 
Come on. Let's go, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six felt like fucking. That felt heavy. Maximize growth, raise intensity. It's not just about heavy, 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 heavy. Kill that, you know? 24 reps, one set. Yeah. Goes. Here he goes. One. Two. Good. Come on. Six. Yes. I know that one hurt. More tricep. Wow, right, we're gonna do now is a superset, two different separate things. They're hitting different parts of the muscle, the inside and the outside. Um, really good machine. So I think we're gonna start with 45. Because what you're doing there is you're hitting, the first one's hitting the inner side, and the second one, when you're raising like that, you're doing the outer head. But, wow. No messing about. That gets a lot of blood in there. Wow. Wow. Your turn, George. Come on, your turn. Yeah, one, two, three. Your inside, yeah, and then keep your el elbows wide. There you go. Two, bring it, bring toward your forehead. Three, down a bit. Four, five, good. <laughs> it burns, huh? <laughs> it burns, isn't it, huh? He doesn't know what to do with himself. And it's only a bloody arm workout. Imagine if it was legs. <laughs> Right, next set, this is where it goes. Up to 65 now, a bit more weight. I always go up in weight. Endurance, strength, gets your heart rate up, burn fat, build muscle, win-win situation. Oh, here we go, here we go. Light work, light work. Oh, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Remember, it's fucking ten each time, so twenty reps. Oh. Yep. Yes. Come on. Not easy. Oh. Big arms, you know. Wow, burns. <laughs> All right. More weight. 75 now. Last set. Three sets. This one's gonna mess me up, but it's all worth it. Gotta get big arms. You gotta smash them to pieces. Come in here and do what you gotta do. 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Oh, it's heavy. Oh. Hey. Hey. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, shit. Hoi. Next time. Come on. Let's go. Eight. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Not going to get eight, eight. Eight, six, better than nothing. Wow. Wow. Wow, that burns. Big arms. <laughs> Fuck. Let's go. Last set for you, George. Come on. Two. Elbows in. Three. Two more. Come on. Five. It's still good. Still good. Well done. It's not easy. You know, you've still done like 14, 15 reps. It's not like you just, you know. I think we do a cluster set on this one now. Make it hard. Make it super hard. Oh. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. Uh, oh. 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 If you don't feel the burn, it ain't good enough. Especially for arms. We're bodybuilding, not powerlifting. You know, it's not all about weight, weight, weight. Feel the burn. Oh, right, let's go. 10, 10, 10. Two. Three, good. Key elbows in. Four, good, that's it. Good, come on. 10, good, well done. How's that feel? Good. Burns, isn't it? Right, so now I'm going to do my last set on this one. On cluster sets, I, uh, sometimes I only do two sets because when you think about it, you've done 60 reps each set. So once you've done two sets, there's 120 reps. Yes, I do volume training with heavy, but there's a point of if you do too much, you're going to numb the signal because with the muscle and the nerve, there's a, a plate in between the, the nerve and the muscle. What happens is if you overtrain, 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 you overstimulate that pad and it numbs the pad. So the signal to the muscle is not the same response as if, you know, you do it within a certain amount, you know, and, and, and experience tells you when you're overtraining or when you're not. Um, yes, you'll get something out of it. Yes, you can recover. Training's not just about recovering over the next few days. Sometimes overtraining is when you're overstimulating the muscle and you, you want to stimulate, not annihilate. Because when you annihilate, if anything, you're breaking down too much and you're not gonna allow that repair. And like I say, you numb that pad. So, over time, instinct will tell you and what I set, what I set people tells them how much they should do per workout, per set. Uh, there's, a, there's a point where if you're under training or over training, you wanna hit the right amount. That comes with experience and time. Knowing and feeling your body. Um, Oh, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, 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 ten. Ooh, last one's gonna be hard now. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ten. <laughs> I didn't want to bend my arms. Fill up the blood that much. That's what you want for arm training. Fill up the blood. Fill up the blood. That's what we're here to do. Huh? Let's go. Ten. Well done. I know that hurt, huh? Come on. <laughs> Last thing we're gonna do, well, for triceps, single arm. now. Come on. Good. Whee. Stuck. Oh. Doesn't want to come off. <laughs> I'm gonna do forearms now. 
because when training arms, you have to get the forearms in. Very important. You don't want skinny little forearms. Find a straight bar, that is. There it is. now. Wow, four arms. Wow. Yeah, there. Good. So now, mate. Working, man. That's hard work. Good arm session. Nothing beats a good arm session. Has to be done. If you're just chucking in arms, personally for me, chucking in arms just on the end of saying it's just not worth it. Have a full arm day, full development. If you want big arms, that's what you've got to do. I'm genetically not gifted in arms, so I've got to really work for them. Um, but everybody's a little bit different. That's why I plan different things for different people. Certain people, when they look at the physique, they need to bring up different, different body parts. So sometimes I, I tell them to do more of more or sometimes it could be more food on that day. There's so many different variations to do. Different types of training methods, all different suit, different people. Not everybody responds the same to everything. But a general rule of thumb, if we're hitting every fiber, walking in, hitting every fiber, hitting everything you can, and then fueling your body, you're gonna grow. So, um, yeah, this is what I do most days. And then I go back home and do some more work on the laptop. I've got to do this video editing. Um, you'd be surprised how long it takes to sit there and just do editing. Um, but it's a day in the life of a bodybuilder, stroke, trainer, coach, whatever we want to call it. But years and years of training, trial and error, has led me to the knowledge I've built up now. Research, trial and error, time and time and time again, show after show, prep after prep. You know, there's too many coaches out there at the minute. The whole industry is saturated with them. And they've done one competition or they've done a few PT courses and they think they're a fucking coach. It drives me mad. Even uh, all the way that they put bells and whistles on their, on, their, uh, on their diet plans and training plans. It looks all spreadsheeted out, it looks good. But half it, there's no nothing to it because they haven't really walked the walk yet. They've done one or two years. I mean, for any person to be a trainer of any kind, if you haven't had five to 10 years worth of experience doing something, how can you teach? It baffles me, man. It baffles me how people 
you know, I mean, fair, fair play to them. I mean, if some, someone wants to pay that and get knowledge of somebody that's done one year's worth of training, I just, I just find it baffling how people take advice of people that haven't really walked the walk that long. But I'm not going to diss people. Fair, fair play, everyone's out there to make some money and do what they've got to do, but I just find it ridiculous. Don't take knowledge of somebody. Don't get run over either. <laughs> don't take knowledge of people that don't know what they're doing. It's ridiculous. So these type of videos are going to go up all the time now. YouTube, click the like, subscribe, because I'm going to start to do videos like this all the time. Show a little bit what I do what it's about, what my journey is, especially this year as I'm gonna get back into competing, get back in shape, I'm gonna start showing the whole process because this is what bodybuilding is. It's a lifestyle, there's no bells and whistles around it, it's a everyday grinding, eating, setting a goal and achieving it. Not being a talker, be a doer. So, hope you like the video, there's gonna be more. Subscribe, click the like, yeah man. Ha, 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 ha.